This is what a typical weekday morning looks like along Millennium Highway, a long line of slow-moving traffic as people try to exit the most densely inhabited settlement in the country. The population boom, placement of several schools in that community, and the rise in motor vehicles are partly to blame for this bumper-to-bumper -bumper mess, and residents expect a solution. One woman says she has to leave home a quarter to 8 a.m. just to get her children to school and herself to work on time. In other words, a 45-minute delay due to the traffic congestion coming out of Blue Hills. Well, it, it's um, frustrating, you know, and it's the same every day. So I, I really don't know what the answer is to try to alleviate it, but it, it's really bad. Sometimes you get to work 45 minutes after you leave home when you could really make it in, in maybe 15 minutes. It's just a little bit uh, difficult right now every morning here because, uh, you know, you, soon you come from uh, Maranatha School, it almost it will take about an hour to, uh, to uh, pass here, you know, just in the corner there. I don't know why. And they go through this five days a week because this route is the most convenient commute for those going east onto Leeward Highway or into downtown Provo. But the motorists think it is time for another way out. I think they really need to find a way of, um, I don't know, making a different road or whatever because it's really horrible, especially from like 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock every morning because of the, um, the, high, the two high schools in, in Blue Hills. And it holds back a lot of people um, when they're trying to get about doing their morning um, things. So I think they should try and find a way to help relieve the problem of the traffic because it's really bad. Something has to be done. It's at least 15 to 20 minutes to get to school, you know, to drop the kids off. Well, I've already done that, but um, it takes very long in the morning. Y'all got too much chance in the silent mind. Y'all got to do something. Y'all got to make some new, more, new, more new roads to do something. One road can't do it. Can't do it. News 4 is attempting to get some comment from the Minister of Works, but if there is a solution, it won't be evident for some time. In the meantime, experts suggest carpooling, expressing your sentiments to Parliament representatives, leaving home earlier, and good old-fashioned patience.